Hello everyone. Right, first of all, sorry I've been away for so long. I've just been really, really busy for work and and actually I've done quite a bit of um, hobby stuff, but do you know what? I haven't. I just haven't had the motivation to do a video. But I thought, no, I've got a bit of time. I'm going to do a video, show you what I've been up to for, for the last three or four months. Um, and then hopefully start doing a few more regular videos again. Work's calming down slightly, so it's more... Anyway, don't need to know about that. Um, so this is what I've been working on. I've, You know, when I last spoke to you, I think I was doing a load of Seven Years' War. I've been carrying on doing bits and pieces at 15 mil. Those of you who watched before probably know that's a bit of a long-term project for me. Um, but this is what I started probably February time. Maybe a bit after that. Um, and it's my North Africa project. Now, this is my... I got these for Christmas. And these are Perry plastics. Um, and these are Rubicon um, vehicles at the back. I've thoroughly enjoyed doing this. This is a bit of a long haul for me for the Africa Court. I thought it was going to be a quick job. But if you notice, I will zoom in a little bit. What I'm doing, I'm trying to make them a bit individual, so there's a very big mismatch of uniforms and stuff like this. Um, but thoroughly enjoyed doing these. I got nine more on the go that are all part way through, so they're all at this sort of stage. Oh, zoom! So they're all at that. So I've got nine of them on the go. So hopefully after this bank holiday weekend, I'll get them done. Um, and then I think I've got a radio man, a mortar, a very light mortar team, and an anti-tank rifle. Then the, then the Germans, for the moment, are done. Um, but, so these are the standard ones, but then I've converted this guy, because I didn't want three MG teams the same. But yeah, thoroughly enjoyed that. I did a bit of converting on the... Opal Blitz there because they come with these this, either a shut an open back or you can have it with these laying down here but it just didn't look right to me so I ended up just getting some wire putting them on I much prefer it I much prefer the look of that um, Rubicon models really good really like those really good um, right so so that's that and so I'll probably do a proper showcase once they're all painted up, which shouldn't be too long. Then I have been also doing, let me get rid of that. I have been doing some prepping all the British. So I'm, uh, my desert rats, so all the desert rats. This is again a Perry box, plastics box. And for the money, you can't go wrong, I have to say. Um, you can't go wrong at all. Plenty of stuff there. And I've done one test piece. See how I work him out. So there's him. Also, I've already done a vehicle. I was donated this very generously by um, Dij. Um... Indian pattern carrier, so I'll use that as a reconnaissance vehicle. Um, I'm not sure what make it is, but yeah, so that one's done. And then, so that's all prepped, ready to go once those last nine Africa Corps are done. And then I moseyed on up to Partizan at the weekend, last weekend, and picked up these. And I have to say, I thoroughly enjoyed Partizan. There were some stunning games on display there. Um, I just looked on the blog as well. There's, um, and rightfully so, the star there was a Stalingrad table. Exceptional modelling skills of the guy who did it. Um, and he won, they won best in show. A thoroughly, thorough, brilliant table. If you get a chance to go on, I think it's the Lead Adventure Forum or whatever it is. To go and have a look at how he built it all. Really worth going to have a look. Really cracking um, game. 
Um, and there was lots of really good games though. Really, it really was a show that you could go around and just look at eye candy all day and be inspired. Quite a few desert tables. Um, there was a really nice Islandwana table with a load of Zulus. Only shame is with that one, the Islandwana, this tiny little was a tiny little rock at the end of the table, which didn't quite match. But I suppose it's just you don't need the rock, do you? Um, but yeah, there was loads and loads of stuff there. Really worth looking and having a look at all the photos from it because there were some really top quality games. But anyway, I um, bought myself a Panzer III for my Germans, which has already been put together, base coated and dry brushed. That is a Warlord. This is a Warlord 222 Scout, which again, this is this one's all plastic. And this one's resin and metal, and they're both they're both very good. I really really like them. Uh, the only problem is obviously twenty eight mils is slightly more expensive, but you don't need huge amounts, do you, of vehicles? And then this is a Kubel wagon, which I I ended up buying a Perry one, which I think they use Blitzkrieg miniature miniatures. Um, but yeah, again, really nice little little car. So that's where I'm at with those. Um, and I, I'm thoroughly enjoying this project as well. Um, I've been also doing some terrain. But I'll show you that a bit more another time because once the table's up and running and I've got the Africa Accord done, I will do a, a bit more of a video. Um, but yeah, so I'm still around. I'm still doing stuff, hopefully a bit more frequently now. Um, just well, now I've got um, a bit more time on my hands in the evenings, and I might make a few more videos. Um, so, and this I want to show you this because this is a cracking little figure. This was a freebie from Partisan of a looks like an RAF pilot, downed RAF pilot, and I'm going to use him as an objective marker for my 28 mil World War Two. Or something like that, just an extra piece. Really cracking figure, I really like him. Um, but yeah, so I have also been watching everyone else's videos. But I tend to like them, I haven't been commenting too much. Um, but hopefully I'll start doing a bit more of that as well. Anyway, hope you're all well and I will see you all soon. Bye.